Hi everyone, welcome to the study of the book of Matthew, chapter number 28. I am excited to bring to you this message of the book of Matthew, chapter number 28, because it is a glorious message. Actually, it is the center of the kingdom of God. It is a reason as to why we live as the people, as the children of the kingdom of the most high God. Without Matthew, chapter number 28, then there would be no kingdom. But now, since uh, Jesus resurrected from the dead, we live, we move, and we have our being, and we have this hope which is endless in him. So, Matthew chapter number 28, it is good news to every person who fear death. Actually, it is an assurance that those who are in Christ Jesus, they will live. Though they die, they are going to resurrect again as Jesus resurrected. The power of God which was in Christ Jesus, the resurrection in power. It is alive in us. So welcome, and I'm so happy, I'm blessed of the Lord as I bring this message of the gospel of the kingdom of God to you. Very, very powerful message for you to listen and to understand it. And bless the name of the Lord because of the resurrection in power. The power which made Christ Jesus to resurrect from the dead is much alive in me. It is also a life in you if you have accepted Christ Jesus to be the Lord and the Savior of your life. Hallelujah. So to God be the glory. Uh, Matthew chapter number 28, it is about the resurrection of Jesus. Also, we have the, the scheme which was put down by the, the chief priests and the teachers of the law to divert, to pervert uh, the, the good news of the resurrection, whereby they corrupted the soldiers, so that they would say uh, otherwise, they would defile, they would uh, they would say lie concerning the resurrection. So, uh, the other theme here is uh, the great commission which Jesus gave to his 11 disciples, 11 because one of them and decided to be wicked and decided to be crook and he had decided to be great. He had betrayed Jesus and after betraying Jesus, as we found in the book of Matthew, chapter number 27, he hanged himself. His name is Judas. Exactly. Judas hung himself because of the wickedness he had committed. So Jesus, we see him here giving the 11 disciples the great commission. So we go to the study. My prayer to us is that God is going to speak to us in a wonderful and in a glorious way, particularly to this message concerning the resurrection, concerning the resurrection of our Lord and our, and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who is now alive. So we are bringing a message to you concerning him who was dead, but now he is alive and he owns the key of life and even you are dead. So we go to the study. It has 20 verses which are very, very powerful. Now after the Sabbath, near dawn of the first day of the week, Mary of Bangdala and the other Mary went to take a look at the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven, and they came and they rolled the border back and sat upon it. His appearance was like the lightning, his garment was, was as white as snow. And those keeping guard were so frightened at the sight of him that they were agitated and they trembled and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be alarmed and frightened, for I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, as he said. He would do. Come, see the place where he lay. They go quickly and tell, then go quickly and tell his disciples, he has risen from the dead, and behold, he is going before you to Galilee, there you will see him. Behold, I have told you. So they left the tomb hastily with fear and great joy, and ran to, the, to tell the disciples. And as they went, behold, Jesus met them, and they said, Greetings. And they went up to him, and they, and they clasped his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be alarmed and afraid. Go and tell my brethren to go into Galilee, and there they will see me. 
Where they were on their way, behold, some of the guns went into the city and, and reported to the chief priest everything that had occurred. And when they, the chief priest had gathered with the elders and had consulted together, they gave a sufficient sum of money to the soldiers. And they said, Tell people, his disciples came at night and they stole him away where he were, where, where we were sleeping. And if the governor hears of it, you will appease, we will appease him and make you safe and free from trouble and care. So they took the money and did as they were instructed. And this story has been current among the Jews to, to the present day. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee to the mountain to which Jesus and directed and made appointment with them. And when they saw him, they fell down and worshipped him, but some doubted. Jesus approached and breaking the silence said to them, O authority of a, of a power of rule in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go then and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them into the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to, pres to observe everything that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you all the days, perpetually and, and uniformly, and on every occasion to the very close and the consummation of the age. Amen. So let it be. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. This is so glorious. This is so encouraging that Jesus is with you. He is with me all the days perpetually, uniformly, on every occasion, and he has given us power and authority to do that which he has called us to do. On In heaven and on earth has been granted to him. So when we are in Christ Jesus, we have all power, all authority, and there is nothing by any means that will harm us. So my prayer to us is that we shall carry the work which God has given us with, with the understanding and the knowledge that Jesus is with us to the very end of the ages. And there is nothing by any means that will harm us. So it is important for you to live in this understanding, to live in this realization, to have this consciousness within you that wherever you are, the Savior of the whole world is with you. And there is nothing by any means that will harm you. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. It is important for you also to understand that corruption began with the sin. When men fell in Genesis chapter 3, it became corrupt. And now, from that time henceforth, men have been using money to, to pollute, to pervert what is righteous. But we thank God because even if the soldiers were corrupted, they were given huge lump sum of money, as recorded here in Matthew chapter number 28, verses 12 and 13, to, 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 to divert, to pervert the truth. The truth has only been propagated, even with much opposition. So you cannot, you cannot really oppose the truth. The truth will always prevail, no matter how much men try to pervert truth. Truth will always prevail. So my dear people, wherever you are, it is important for you to understand that the truth will always start. You can never prevail against the truth. That's why even the, the past disciples say that you can do nothing against the truth. The truth is always the truth, no matter how much the enemy try to oppose it through corruption. Also, this is good news to us that Jesus is resurrected. And maybe something which you have never seen as you study the scripture is that the message, initially the message was entrusted to the women. The women were given the message and they were told to take the good news to the disciples to inform them that Christ was risen. So those who have a problem with women uh, preaching I don't know where they get their doctrine from, but we see here Jesus himself, uh, beginning, he gave the women the message, the good news, that Jesus is alive. And remember the gospel has to do with Jesus being resurrected, 
yes, a life as I'm speaking right now. If you believe in, in him, that he is the son of God, you believe in your heart and you confess with your mouth that Jesus is resurrected, Jesus is your life, hallelujah, then you shall be saved. So that is the good news. So the first message of resurrection was entrusted to women. So in the kingdom of God, whether you are a male or a female, you are important and you qualify, provided Christ is in you. The qualification it is Christ being in you to preach the gospel of the kingdom of God and he is with you to the very ages and he has given you power and authority. So in the area of your influence, be conscious that Christ is in you. He has given you all what is needed to preach the gospel of the kingdom of God to the very end. And the good news is that you are not alone. He is with you, you to the very end. May we rise up to the occasion so that we may preach the gospel of the kingdom of God to the very end. And as we preach the gospel of the kingdom of God, remember the kingdom of God is within you. He is with you. Christ draws in you. He is the one who works in you to do and to will in the name of Jesus. So God bless you and keep you in the name of Jesus as you endeavor to live in him and to acknowledge him because he is alive. He is risen. Christ is alive. Jesus is alive. He lives in us to do and to will. And because Christ is resurrected, you overcame death. Even us, when Christ is in us, we are victorious. We have overcome. Glory to God. So we are on the winning side. We are victorious. Everything. Whether it is in heaven or even on earth, we are victorious because we have been given power and authority. And the greater one lives inside of us. So don't you fear wherever you are. Since you have been given all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to you. So be aware that you have the power and authority in Christ Jesus our Lord. God bless you and keep you as you continue uh, propagating the kingdom of God which is our life and, and the rules of a whole all the days of your life in Christ Jesus our Lord and our Savior.